Hi everyone, in this uh, video, we will give a brief demo about how to use Watson Analytics to analyze our example data, which is about a flight company. Uh, in business setting, the most frequent questions are, what is happening with my clients, why it is happening, and what kind of presentation we can create to our clients. First, let's take a look at our example data. The satisfaction score is from the customers of different airline companies. The score is from 1 to 5. There are also many other variables. And we also have a detailed description, such as total number of records, which is 100 a thousand and total 30 variables and descriptions of variables in our attachment so first let's go to Watson analytics click try it free to register an account this will be used later for sign in After signing, you will see the main page of Force Analytics. There are many modules. The first one, Explore, corresponds to the descriptive analysis about what is happening with the data. And the second one, Predict, is really trying to find determinators of why it is happening. And the assemble is trying to combine different analysis together to uh, create a report. So first, let's click Add and the Job Data to add the, our example data set. And also, after we select the data, it usually takes some time for the uh, server to synchronize the data and analyze it. This may take one or more minutes. Now we can see that the data has already been created and we could start from explore. There are some uh, default analysis and we can also type in our own questions in natural language format, such as how does satisfaction compare by airline name. This can give us an overview of our satisfaction compared by other companies. And if it, it will generate all the relevant analysis, in our case, we click the second question, which is most similar to uh, our question. And from this realization, we can see that our company called Ourson Airline, the satisfaction score is quite similar among different airlines. But this is counterintuitive to our uh, existing facts that customers are, not, are unhappy. So we can explore some other uh, analysis. Here we click on the second one called flag distance by airline name. This will create a new page. And we can see that uh, our flight, our airline, has the longest flight distance averagely. But how is this, uh, will this be different if we combine the number of flights? So we can click on flight dis distance and change it the summarize to sum up. And now we can see that our flight not only has the averagely longest flight distance, but also have most number of flights. Also, we can compare satisfaction with other variables by changing airline name and change it to airline status. So there are four types of status. We can see the blue status are the most unhappy customers, followed by uh, Palatium. We can also add a third column and color it differently. Here we choose uh, the type of travel. And we can see that there's a great variation between different types of travel. So the uh, yellow bar of personal travel is the are the least unhappy are the least happy customers. So it seems that the type of travel is a very important determinator of satisfaction. In order to see this clearly, we can also change the visualization to a tree view map. And from this realization, it's clear that personal travel uh, has the lowest satisfaction score. And also, 
we are more interested in the Palatium uh, customers, so we can exclude blue. And also, the realizations can be collected during the entire process. This can be done by clicking, clicking the Collect button, and this realization will be added to the collection. Now let's try to predict what will impact on satisfaction. Before that, we need to refine our data set to confine it to only the data of our company, the Orson Airline. So we clicked on Refine of the data set. And then the um, Watson Analytics will load all the data columns of our data. And we can uh, filter the data similar like in Excel. Here we choose uh, airline name. And on the drop down list, we select uh, Orson Airline. This will filter out other companies and leave, leave only the data of our company. Now let's create a secondary variable. We can click on Actions and Data Group. And then we can select the variable that we want to create a secondary variable on, which is class. So class has three values, which is uh, business, economy, and economy plus. Instead, we only want two categories. So we can create a travel class and select economy and economy plus and click a new group. And we name it economy. And then we can switch the uh, the group remainings and also name it as business. So there are two categories in travel class. Now let's combine class and travel class together to build a hierarchy variable. We name it as a class category. And then we can add two levels. The first level is travel level, which only has two categories we just created. And the second one is class that has three different categories. So this ver hierarchy variables can be used in later analysis if you want to uh, break down the data to different levels. We can click save to save the data. And here we name it as refinement. And we can use it later for our prediction. It might take some time for uh, the saving process. After saving is complete, there will be a message that your data has been saved. So after refinement, we are ready to predict the determining factors of satisfaction. First, let's go to the main page and click on the data refinement we just created and click on prediction. And on the new analysis, uh, we can name our uh, workbook act as what is explaining satisfaction. And we can see there's already a default target satisfaction identified. And we can just keep the default and click create. And it might take uh, around one minute to generate the analysis. And you, as you can see, the satisfaction in the middle is determining by many variables. The closer the variable, the more important effect the variable is. If you hover on the circle, there are many detailed information of the variable. And also, most of the times, uh, one target is determined by combination of variables instead of single. So we can click on combination. And then we can see, well, on the right, there's a tree map. Uh, and you can see the determined factors also change to combinations of variables instead of uh, single variables. And the tree map on the left, it's actually a decision map that tells us uh, what are the the important factors of satisfaction in a rule-based format. So uh, first, we can change uh, the, it, the lowest 
target category because we only want to focus on the customers that have the lowest satisfaction score and what are determining factors of that. We can see the most important factor is type of travel. With, as we can see in earlier exploration, the personal type of travel are the least happiest, least the happiest customer. And also after that, the arrival time of delay, yes or no, uh, are also important factor. Uh, if the uh, customer has no arrival delay or it has a arrival delay, we can see the uh, satisfaction score is much lower. And also after that, the airline status also plays a role. We can see, and after that, the age range is also important with the, uh, the uh, Older age is the least than happy, least than happy, and followed by other ages. And then the flight distance plays a role. When the flight distance is longer, is also going to, uh, to tend to be unhappy. So. Uh, the end node weighs the number from 1 to 5, labels the customers that are the most unhappy to the uh, f lowest 5%. And also we can switch to the food tree and by zooming in, zooming out to adjust the size of the visualization tree. And also, we can add this uh, decision tree to our collection for later use by clicking on the collection button. We can also click on the decision rules to give us a rule format of the decision results. Uh, first, uh, we need to also change uh, the results to the lowest of 5%. This is correspond to our early decision tree. And we can see that uh, for different uh, percentage of a happy customer, it has a distinct profile. And we can also save this to our collection. We can also see the word cloud of the uh, decision variables. As you can see, the type of travel with the largest font size is the most important. And also airline status, arrival daily greater than five minutes. We can also save this to our collection. Now we are ready to combine our previous analysis results to generate a final report. This is corresponds to what actions should we report back. And we can use the assemble function in Watson Analytics. So first, let's first click on Assemble. And choose our data set. And you can see there are different uh, types of layouts. We just choose the four grid layouts. And here we can drag, actually drag our different variables to the grid to generate, to generalize, generate realizations. So for the first grade, we first drag the origin state as well as satisfaction to see what uh, are the difference of satisfaction between different states. As you can see, mostly uh, the customer seems to be okay uh, that it has satisf satisfaction score of around three. There are some lighter areas seems to be the and a uh, less happy customer. Also, we can overlap other variables on it. For example, age range to see whether this satisfaction can also be impacted by different range.
So here, the larger the circle, the uh, higher the satisfaction score. Also, in grade two, we can create uh, a comparison between satisfaction and age range. Also, we can change the uh, type of virtualization of these two variables by uh, click on the whole data whole virtualization and in the floating toolbar click uh, change virtualization change it to line plot so we can see that uh, the older customer or the younger customer seems to be more unhappy while the middle-aged seems to be more happy also if you click on a specific uh, point you can also see the uh, geographical map on the left has been synchronized to see only the value of certain age range so next we can put the uh, realizations we saved in your collection to the remaining grid First, we can put the decision tree in grid 3 and also the word cloud into grid 4. So these four different realizations have given us a very general idea of the determining factors of satisfaction. So this realization can be uh, shared via email or download or even generate a link after you save the realization. Here we choose to email it. We can also save the view. Also, we can download 